Karens are known for overstepping their boundaries with everyone. But what happens when they meet people who are ready to put them in their place? Here are four cases of Karens messing with the wrong cops. Hey man, who just walked in owning that car? That one. Get out now. Um, I'm peeing. Oh, Come out Get out here now. Get out. I'm Get your out. hands what? up. What did I do? This woman did, in fact, do something. Otherwise, the police officer wouldn't have bust the door down on her. On the 4th of December, 2021, police officers received reports about a blue car speeding on the Mexico highway. But when the cops pulled over, this woman sped away. She would then claim that she had done nothing wrong and even fight the police based on this false conviction. Talk about a true Karen. I didn't do anything. Wasn't you. What? That's why they told me you're driving that blue car, right? Yes. Okay, good. You are now detained. So I why? figured out exactly why, why you left from- detained? Because you took off my traffic stop. What are you talking about? Let's go. No, you need to get, you, let me go, let me go, let me go. You are such a thing. This woman claimed that she had no knowledge of having run away from a traffic stop. Was she lying through her teeth or was she mentally impaired at the moment and truly believed what she was saying? However, the most significant part of the encounter was how belligerent she was. The Karen resisted, yelled, and hurled insults at the officer but he knew how to handle people like her. Separate your feet. I didn't do Separate your feet! I didn't do anything! Woo! Let me go! I didn't do anything! I didn't... What's your name? Jamie. Jamie what? Danger. I told you, you're not, the only place you're going is to jail. I didn't do anything! Okay. I did not do anything. Okay. Please let me go. I just want to call my boyfriend, please. You're not calling anybody. The only place that you're going to go is to the, the jail. For You're going to go to jail for... I did not go for to a, jail. You're going to go to jail for resisting arrest, eluding. I didn't all do right. anything. Yes, you did. I stopped you eight miles no, down the road. I, did not. I, did I not stopped you eight miles down the road. Please. You pulled up... After noticing that she smelled like booze and that her behavior did mirror that of a drunk person, the cop asked her to take some field sobriety tests. We're gonna get down to why you smell like booze right now, okay? How much you had to drink today? Nothing. Yeah, that's not what you told me initially. No, nothing. So you had nothing to drink? No. Nope. Okay. So would you be willing to take some standardized field sobriety tests so nope. I can see? No? Sure. Yep, you, you, I'll take some field sobriety tests, sure. Are you gonna do them or no? It didn't take long for the drunk Karen to throw in the towel and stop trying to prove what was obviously a lie. She was drunk and terribly so. Do you understand my test? You know what? I'm drunk, okay? I'm drunk. Okay. Not you... getting out. Yes, I yes. am. No, no, no. Get off me. Get off me. Get off me. Stop it. You're gonna get a resi- You're gonna Stop get- Stop it. You're Sexual gonna... assault. You're gonna get an additional- You're gonna get an Let additional- Let me go. Charge. Do you- Let me go. You're gonna get battery Sexual on a- Sexual assault. You're gonna get battery Sexual on a- Sexual assault. Let me assault. go. You're gonna get another charge no, if you hit me. let me go. Stop. Let me go. No. Come back over here, put your no. on. No. Come back let over me here. go. Come on. No. Come on. Okay. Let me go. Okay. Let me go. Please. This Karen tried everything she could to thwart the cop's efforts, even going as low as claiming sexual assault. It didn't change anything, though, and she was taken to jail despite her best antics. But if you think this Karen is the worst of them all, that's because you haven't met the next one. She got me on the, on the side over here. You probably saw that right as you pulled up. Okay. Well, I think you were probably bleeding before that, too. Okay. I don't want her to get any... It's her birthday tomorrow, so... I understand. <laughs> so tell me what happened. Um, he's married and we came here together. Tomorrow's my birthday. I'm here with him and his best friend Joe. I'm trying to find Joe because he has my hotel room. I, don't, 
I don't know. Where, he's at the bar next door. I think it's Sloppy Joe's or something. I don't. I don't know. I'm just, I. I want to get away. That, that's what happened. Okay. He's. He's married. That's literally what. Honestly, that's the truth. That's what happened. He's married. I'm 26. I'm turning 26. You can look at my ID. That's fine. That's no. fine. On the 30th of April, 2021, police officers received a call about a disturbance outside a bar. They got there to find this woman named Maria and the man she had assaulted. Upon further inquiries, the cops found that they were a couple, although an unconventional one. Are you guys together? Um, yeah, but he's married. I just don't want to be here anymore. How long have you been together? For a year, but he's married. His okay. wife doesn't even know. Okay. He's cheating on his wife with me and a million other people. I All just right. want to get back to my, my hotel. I'm 50. She's 25. She's turning 26. And, and her friends are and her friends are over there. And all of a sudden they're like, you know, you know, she doesn't have to pay for a thing. You know how it you. goes. Pay for anything all of a sudden. Like, I, was, I was like, can't even chill, chill the hell up. She was like. <laughs> She was like, Officer, she was like, all right, keep going. She was like biting me. I got, I got like, like blood all over. Yeah. That's. Do you got any like? I mean, I see you got some. Is that? Yeah, but that's not. No, I see that. But oh, hold your hand this way for me. Yeah, looks like you got cut open there too. Do you need an ambulance? No, I don't need anything. I just don't okay. Maria repeatedly stated that the guy was married, likely in hopes of deflecting the cops from the fact that she had been beating him up. But as you might have expected, this didn't work. When I got back to here, somebody pushed somebody into that fence because I had definitely heard that. And I stopped and came around the corner. They were like, she's definitely the one who's hitting him. I don't know what she's saying, but she she was like smacking him in the head. She was biting him in the arm. She He kept trying to walk away. She kept grabbing him, like pulling him back. Like she was definitely like the aggressor from what I saw. I got you. Um, but that's when I called because okay. he kept trying to walk away and she kept grabbing him. Like she bite him like on the arm and then she like. Would you mind stealing out a witness head. statement for me? Yeah. Okay, what happened? Um. Uh, it's my birthday tomorrow. You can look at my ID. Uh, -huh. uh we were coming here. Me, Ryan, dude oh, yeah. right there, and his friend. Uh, for my birthday, and, um... This witness's account of the situation was the final nail in the coffin for Maria. And the cops had no choice but to arrest her after it. Time for us just for a minute. All right. Why? What's going on? All right. Sit, sit tight. There's Thank Joe. You. No, the, the dude that's coming right there. That's. With that's the, Joe. That's that's the guy that. that His friends. No, no, no. Your friends. We are friends. With. All three. It's not just him. We are okay. friends with him. I understand. We have a hotel together. I just want to leave, and it's fine. Okay. Well, right now we're conducting an investigation, so I need you to sit tight. I understand that. Okay. I understand, but I'm telling you what's going on. You asked me, and I'm telling. Clear evidence of her guilt didn't stop Maria from acting entitled and throwing tantrums at the back of the patrol vehicle. After all. Isn't that what Karens are known for? <laughs> You're freaking me out right now. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you in just a second. I just want to get my stuff. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Officer, you said you were going to talk to me. <laughs> What's going on? Can't even breathe in here. Hello? I hear you. But you're not even talking to me. I just want to, I'll go back. I'll go back to D.C. It's my birthday tomorrow. Your, 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 your buddy has my ID. While some Karens try to hide from the police, others invite trouble right to their doorstep and then cry when it comes. Take this next Karen, for instance. What's going on? I have to go to work. No, I have to go to work. I'm not willing to be late for work. Okay, what's going on? I have to, nothing. Okay. Nothing. I have to go to work. I don't even know why you guys are here. Get away from me, please. You're making me feel... I want the chief of police here. Okay. Whoever the supervisor is, I want here. Okay, he's coming. Okay, I have to go to work. I don't have time for this, sir. I have to go to work. So you called me. No, I didn't. I don't know who called you. Okay. I didn't what's, call what's your, you. What's your phone number? Start with that. 60385. I'm so, from I'm from New Hampshire. Well, I'm from Massachusetts originally. Okay, so who's in the apartment with you? Me. Okay, who else? Me. Because there's someone else. I have to get ready, sir. Okay. I have to go to work. We gotta, I have to go to work. Gotta, we got a call. Hello? Hi. Oh. Okay. So that's why, the number that called 911. Well, that was a shocker. On March 19th, 2023, in Marshfield, Wisconsin, this woman named Kayla called the police, 
claiming that she needed urgent medical attention. However, when the cops, she denied ever calling and the reason will shock you. I have to go to work, y'all. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I have to go to work. I'm not talking to you. I'm not speaking to you. I have to go to work. Who else is inside? apartment thinking that his wife was getting hurt only to be tased himself poor guy Bob have a seat in here I'm gonna lose my job please don't please I'm not gonna run why would you guys hit me I wasn't running okay listen you called 911 just listen all right all right you I was... called 911 because he was because he was being a douchebag I was just trying to threaten him with the fucking cops okay that's inappropriate that first of all right I understand right. that but okay. I wasn't he wasn't doing anything I wasn't doing anything okay you you got every police officer over here because we thought someone was being a murdered, beat up, yeah. and no, I'm fine. You guys did all of this. He up, thought that you were hurting me. Of course, he came out here to help me. He thought you guys were hurting me. Okay, you called 911. You just tased him. Yeah. He wasn't. You might be just as shocked as we are to find that she called the police to scare her boyfriend. This is an absolutely unnecessary and meaningless thing to do, and she not only wasted the cops' time but also caused her boyfriend pain because of her obtuse acts. I didn't do anything, sir. Yes, you did. So I'm going right. to lose the work at noon. Please. Put your leg in. Please. Put your leg in. Put your leg in. Please. Put your leg in. Please. Or you will go to jail. Please. Put your leg in the car. No, you're going. All right, no, okay, no. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Put your, please. Can you put, put your leg in. Down, please? Put your leg okay, in the car. Please, please put the window down a little put bit. Put your leg in the car. It's just a little bit. It is hard to believe that someone like Kayla is an adult with a husband and children seeing how she acts, but this next one is almost just as bad. You did say I had to have an ID to be here. No, we need that. You need to give Didn't us you say? ID and a face. Okay. This a call taker an able to get a last know. name. She's refusing to identify herself. It's my God-given right to be here on this planet, and you cannot tell me otherwise. This is Ms. Kara Bell, who was shopping at Nordstrom Rack, refused to follow their nose mask policies, and also refused to leave. According to her, the reason for this was that God had given her the right to be on the planet. Absolutely insufferable. You just lied to me. I lied to you about what? You said I had to have an ID to be here. No, you got to identify not what I said. yourself. Oh. When you're legally detained, you can play back on your video. When you're legally detained, you have a duty to identify yourself to a police officer. Okay, so they're saying when I'm legally detained, which I was not, that I have the Can you try to run her without a date of birth? White female, approximately 40, 45 years of age. How am I legally detained? We were called here to investigate after I was judged. Okay, so they're saying that. And I called that, you too. Okay, so let I me call the police too. Are you going to let me talk, or are you going to be the only one talking? Rack. Because right now, as a call taker, I know you want to have them on there for your safety purposes. Yes. But right now, you and I need to be talking, not them. Says who? You need to continue having a conversation with me. So because you said that she shoved you. She you did. want to file assault charges. She's saying you shoved her and she has witnesses. You have witnesses to say that she shoved you. She has the manager? No. No. Okay. There are other well, employees that were I in would, the fitting room. I would hope, okay, other employees? Well, there's also another woman without a mask. Isn't that interesting how she okay. only picked me? Well, I have nothing to she do with that at all. She only picked me, the white person, not the black person wearing a mask. Do you think it's a racist thing? I don't know. We're not it, here to talk about race. Well, you know what? It kind of seems like it's a racist thing when the black woman doesn't have a mask on, but she comes after the white woman. 
that's, I mean, that's the okay, only difference. Okay, so that, that's both something where women. you would file a complaint with Nordstrom Rep. Okay, but I also want to file a complaint with you for her assaulting me. Okay, and she also me. wants to file assault charges okay. against you. Okay, okay. Go ahead. They have cameras at Nordstrom. Kara claimed that the worker she assaulted had assaulted her first. She even went as far as saying that it was an issue of racism and she was being picked on because she was white. Why is it your business? Because we have to identify you. If I can't identify you, I'm taking you to jail. Okay, this is okay. getting weird. Now they're saying they can't identify me, they're taking me to jail. How do you identify the homeless? That's huh? They tell us their names, their okay. date of birth. We have, we, I mean, it's, they work with us. Are you not to look up? Anything or a reverse check on the cell phone okay. well, we can't get wrong. to that. Well, we can't get to that point. We're not on either side. We don't know what's you going are, on you because we can't side. identify you. You are taking side. No. Robert Eugene Eller, you are taking not side. Eugene. Robert Jean Eller, yes. you are yeah. taking side. I'm not taking and side. And it's really sad. Listen, it's really sad. You need. We're trying to get information from you, but we can't even get any information from you. This happened at Nordstrom Rack. Ma'am, you need to stay on You can't leave because right now you're still detained. No, you can't. You are being detained. Why am I being detained? Because we don't know who you are. Okay, I'm being detained because they don't know who I am. Okay, which we were called here. Is illegal. We were called here, called here for a a situation. Okay. A situation where I was. Which we're we're party. investigating. We so if you are a we're victim. It. Okay, where's the investigator? If you are, are you investigator, ma'am. We are officers. We Cara, have to figure Cara out Bell. what's going on. If you're a victim of assault, you need. We need to know who you are. Cara so, Bell. How did you know my name was Cara Bell? Because I heard you say it. You said it on the phone when you called 911. That's no, how no. you just called and got it. Don't lie. No. You are lying to me. I just heard you call the police officer that I talked to and get my name. Now you're it's lying. Not a police officer on the phone. Now when you're you lying. Were in the fitting room. You I are heard. lying. Stop. This okay. is the second time I caught you in a lie. Okay. Replay your video. I'm not okay. lying. Okay. Okay. Law. First of all, I don't have to identify myself. Yes, you do. Actually, I don't. It's called common law. You should read up on it. I do not. Okay? So we both know that I don't. I am a woman of God. This is my right as much as it is yours. This is my land as much as it is yours. I did not sign up for this. I am a Christian woman of God, and you are not going to put your disgusting rules on me that are false and not true. I will not have it. Do you understand that? I will not have it. I'm sick of being bullied. I'm sick of being lied to, and it's not going to happen anymore. Do you understand? The CDC just released. Turn around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Kara started quoting the law for the cops, except, of course, she was wrong about it. And when the officers had had enough of her attitude, they put her where she was bound to end up in handcuffs. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.